Okay, now it's time to talk about calibration. How do we calibrate a temperature probe? Okay, remember with the force probes, we, what we did is we put two known forces on it. Do you remember those forces? Yeah, we used um, zero and 9.8 newtons. Well, we just really need two known temperatures. Okay, so what are our known temperatures that we can generate? Well, one is, um, well, we got boiling water. Yeah, that's 100 degrees Celsius, I mean. Okay, so that's one data point. Now we need another one. Uh, some people suggested using room temperature, but there's a good amount of variation on there. So instead of using room temperature, we use the other very, the other end, uh, phase change, which is uh, ice water. And what you want to do there, and I'll show you this in class. I don't have the ice right now. You put it in ice water, and there's it's a it's a good amount of ice and a good amount of water. You don't want too much ice and you don't want too much water. So the problem with both of these, though, is you have to wait for the temperature to to um, uh, level out. It takes a while for the whole temperature probe to get to zero or 100 degrees. Okay? So what you do here is, if this is our temperature probe right here, and we pretend we're sticking into the hot water. And this would probably be a good idea to use gloves at this time, because this is going to be spouting out steam, hot water. I would be burning my hand right now. That would be bad. I know some of you would laugh but not me. I would be in pain. That would be sad. So anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta wait till it stabilizes at 100. Okay? And by stabilizing, you can look at the voltage that it's generating, and as long as it's not changing much, then you're stable. Okay? Then you go over to the imaginary container I have right here, which is gonna be with ice water. Okay? And then you gotta wait for it to stabilize the same way. But this one's at zero degrees. Okay. Then you're done and calibrated. Yeah. Now, don't disconnect from the logger pro, or else you have to calibrate all over again. That's a significant time chunk. Okay, has anybody got any questions? Oh yeah, that's right, I forget. This is a video, you can't ask questions. So, I'll see you in the physics lab.